This is a first time user usability test um, of the Strike app, a desktop app. And I'm gonna be doing it um, uh, with the task of um, signing up and evaluating the, the desktop app as a new user. Share my screen. Okay, so um, Strike, a more connected financial world. Okay, well, what does that mean? Uh, it's kind of vague. Send and receive money instantly. Buy Bitcoin, get paid in Bitcoin. Okay, that's really specific. I guess that should have been brought out more. Um, send and receive money. What do you mean by that? Is this PayPal? Buy Bitcoin, get paid in Bitcoin. Okay, that's useful. API, cool. Okay, Twitter uses Strike's API, that's nice. Very cool. Jobs, FAQ, um, scroll on, buy and sell Bitcoin. I really like this diagram, or sorry, this image here. Really gets to show me how easy it is to to purchase, and I like the, the change in in screen when it transitioned over to the purchase. Um, Strike offers the, the easiest way to buy Bitcoin. Skip fees and stack stats the right way. What you get when you uh, do a 100 Bitcoin purchase after fees. Okay, I really like this. It really shows how much um, I'm losing when I use the other apps because of fees, and it, you know it's a comparison between the popular ones, Cash App, Venmo, Coinbase, of course. Get paid in Bitcoin. Put the money, put the power of money back into your pocket. Convert your paycheck to Bitcoin with no added fees. How does it do that? How does it make money? I guess that's the one question. Like, how do you guys make money then if you don't, you know, you don't add any fees? I'd be skeptical here. This is nice though. Um, this this um, button dialogue here is nice. Even pull it out more. I would pull it out more. Uh, make it larger because it's uh, it tells a story without needing to explain too much. Coming soon, wallet strike card. Okay, I mean that's a nice thing. I didn't ask for that, but like that's I guess that's cool too. Cool, that's everything. Um, and no, no, no. Uh, I guess I would then download it, right? If I'm interested, I would download it. I see that there's different types, different things I can download. Um, I would want to download it on iOS. Only available for iPhone, okay. Maybe I'll get it on the Chrome Web Store. Kind of confused though. Like, how, is it is it supposed to be used on Chrome? It seems like more of an app, like an iOS app. So, why why are you? I guess it should be recommended that this is the the primary way to use it, because I don't think Chrome is going to give me a good experience. I'm just looking at this now, and it looks like it's getting it's like three stars. Um, so I don't know if it's going to give me a good experience, but um. Yeah, I guess I would have to download it on my phone, so that would be a separate uh, testing video. But um, overall, overall strong, uh, strong app. I'd say you know to be more direct with the the call to action of what exactly you do would be nice. Um, this is really great. Um, yeah, pull pull this payday thing uh, prompt out more, make it larger. Um, and highlight that it's primarily a mobile app rather than a Chrome web app um, so that people have a better experience to start. Yeah, that should be everything.